Happy Saturday. I'm Callie Zanandri in the First Alert Weather Center with a check of your forecast. Well, we started out with sunshine today, then the clouds rolled in and so did the wet weather for some of us. On the First Alert satellite and radar, we're tracking those storms and showers passing through the state. Down in southeast Colorado, we have two severe thunderstorm warnings. These storms are producing 60 mile an hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. They're moving northeast at about 25 miles per hour. In northeast Colorado, also a storm packing quite a punch, stretching from Leader through Fort Morgan, Hill Rose, and out towards Akron. This storm is producing nickel size hail, quite a bit of lightning, and also some heavy rain. Our first alert weather watcher, Bob Rising, reporting more than half an inch of rain from Estes Park this afternoon. He said he had pebble size hail and winds were calm. On the future cast, we do have a chance to see a sprinkler or two pass through in the next couple of hours here in the front range. We'll continue to see these storms push off into the eastern plains. Then overnight tonight, mostly cloudy skies. By tomorrow morning, the cloud cover sticks around and we could see a few lingering rain showers, especially in northeast Colorado. By lunchtime, we could see a few sprinkles here and there scattered throughout the front range and eastern plains, but it really ramps up later tomorrow afternoon. After 3 p.m. onward, we could see a line of heavy storms throughout the front range and eastern plains. So tomorrow, the severe weather outlook, Denver a 1 on a scale of 1 to 5. And down in southeast Colorado, we're at a 2 for a slight risk of severe weather. Our main concerns tomorrow, hail up to an inch, wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, and possible flooding, especially in the burn areas of the Cameron Peak and East Troublesome areas. We're at an elevated risk on Sunday. Now let's talk temperatures starting to cool off out out there on this Saturday evening, 66 at the airport, 71 downtown, and winds are out of the north at 17 miles per hour. We'll drop into the low 50s tonight throughout the front range, 50s across the board on the eastern plains, 35 in Breckenridge, 41 in Estes Park, and out on the western slope, 57 overnight in Grand Junction. And then tomorrow, Another big change is going to be much cooler as we see a cold front pass through tonight. Temperatures tomorrow will only be in the 60s, nearly 15 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. Still see some 70s in southeast Colorado and we'll see some 60s and some low 70s in the mountains with 80s on the western slope. On the super seven day forecast, the wet weather sticks around as we start the week. Showers and thunderstorms likely both Monday and Tuesday with cooler temperatures. Finally, midweek on Wednesday will start to dry out and warm back up into the 70s. And by next weekend, we could finally be back in the 80s for the start of the Renaissance Festival and Father's Day.